Greeting, College of Health and Human Services distinguished faculty and staff. Uh, it's Steve Hooker, uh, your proud dean. And I know that we've had a challenging summer, a lot of uh, anxiety and uncertainty. But you know, as I thought about it, I really wanted to celebrate our accomplishments that we were able to uh, attain last year. And there were many. Um, I've just made notes of about 25 of these fantastic achievements. And I wanted them to share them with you because we should celebrate what we've accomplished and um, offset some of the uh, distress and uh, discouragement um, and uh, uh, even sadness that some of us have felt over the last uh, four or five months. So, so here we go. Uh, for the academic year 1920, at the unit level, some of the accomplishments included the School of Social Work receiving reaffirmation of accreditation for both its bachelor's and master's in social work programs. Our doctorate of physical therapy program also received reaccreditation and moved up 30 places to now be ranked number 49 out of 234 accredited programs in the entire United States, number four out of 16 in California, and yes, number one among all CSU programs. ENS successfully hosted 20 students and two faculty from Kyung Hee University in South Carolina, uh, South Korea. Uh, sorry about that slip up. I used to work and live in South Carolina, but they're from South Korea. Over four weeks, the South Korean guests attended several workshops organized by nutrition and kinesiology faculty and students. Over 100 faculty completed the Summer Course Design Institute uh, to learn new strategies for virtual teaching and learning. The college procured $421,348, the highest dollar amount for any college in the student success fee funded projects. We also continued our legacy of winning the college-wide competition for Aztec's Rock Hunger. Collectively, we contributed nearly 15,000 pounds of food for needy families. The college more than doubled its goal for development by bringing in $4.4 million in funds. Finally, the college celebrated the graduation of 1,077 undergraduate students, of which 40% graduated with academic honors. 360 master's degree students, which was second most in the university, and 55 doctoral students, which was the most of any college. In research and external awards, the college attained $47.1 million in extramural funding, a 5% increase from last year. Of that, $14.3 million was in research funding, which was a 4% increase from last year. $33 million in contracts, $3 million coming from a contract with the County of San Diego Health and Human Services Agency to the School of Public Health to perform COVID-19 contact tracing in un underserved communities. And we launched two internal C grant programs, Jumpstart and CARES provided $120,000 among 13 faculty to enhance their research endeavors. Uh, in individual faculty achievements, and again, this is just a small uh, picture of many of these. Dr. Amanda McLean was awarded a Career Development Award, uh, KO1 Award from NIH. Karen Emery and SLHS received a R01 Grant Award from NIH. Allison Abel in SLHS received a R21 Grant Award from NIH. Jenny Quintana in Public Health received the Live Well San Diego Public Health Champion Award for her impact in San Diego. And Joanne Silks, and SLHS was named the first Dr. Sandanad Singh Endowed Professor in Speech and Language Sciences. Congratulations to those faculty and others who also brought in similar awards and received uh, similar um, acknowledgments. In student achievements, in the SDSU Adaptive Athletic Program, which is housed within ENS, the student Michelle Cross finished fourth in the 100 meters at the Parapan American Games, and our wheelchair tennis team finished second at the 2019 Collegiate National Championships. MSW student Shireen Primo received the SDSU Zahn Spirit of Innovation Award, 
and the National Association of Social Workers Birdwoman Scholar Award for her efforts to build a Native American recovery and treatment center for her hometown Shoshone Reservation. MPH student Dade Johnson received the prestigious Switzer Fellowship to address problems of water scarcity and pollution control on Navajo Nation land for where she originates. Out of 10 total campus-wide awards, three CHHS students were honored with the Division of Student Affairs Quest for the Best Award for outstanding performance in academics, campus involvement, leadership development, and community service. These students were Christian Holt, a senior in kinesiology, Talia Kiu, a senior in public health, and Julia Malouf, a senior in SLHS. And CHS students collectively contributed over 350,000 service hours through clinical and field placements and internships. This results in millions of dollars of economic impact in the San Diego region. Those were sort of the top 25 out of well over 100 that I could have mentioned. Our faculty, staff, and students are awesome. They're extraordinary. Uh, they make positive contributions. They push the envelope in research and exploration. They are contributing many ways to their fields with practical uh, field and clinical placements, uh, community service, uh, student organization activities, and so on. Uh, I am so proud of, of all of us, of what we've been able to accomplish. And I know as we look ahead that we have challenges. Um, we have uncertainties, um, but I'm also trusting in your dedication, in your expertise, uh, in your creativity, uh, that we will meet every challenge that, that we have to face. Some of them will be fiscal challenges, as you'll hear in the coming days. But uh, again, I think we can put into place strategies if we work together uh, to preserve our, um, our robust teaching, research, and service mission. Um, again, I'm proud to be your dean. I look forward to uh, getting back into the fall semester, although we won't be face-to-face, -face, but we will be seeing each other in many Zoom meetings and other forums. Uh, and uh, I look forward to all of us uh, having similar, if not even better, accomplishments in the academic year 2021. Take care.